In last week's video, I drove by myself down to southern Utah to explore and photograph some places that I had never seen before. I shot photos of the Milky Way in the middle of the desert, visited Kodachrome Basin, and ended my day hiking through Bryce Canyon National Park. Today, I'm waking up at Bryce to shoot one of the most stunning sunrises I have ever seen in my life. And then I'm off to Zion National Park to hunt for a composition that I've been wanting to shoot for a very long time. I've had two days of stellar shooting conditions, so let's see if my good luck continues for one more day. going on everybody welcome back so we woke up this morning at Bryce Canyon and shot sunrise there sunrise was was awesome beautiful um, we had just absolutely amazing light one of the best sunrises I've probably ever shot in my life honestly I have really bad luck with with sunrises and, and sunsets and uh, this was not one of those so um, really good time at Bryce Canyon this morning we left Bryce Canyon National Park and we are on our way to Cedar City. But first, Luke texted me and suggested that I check out this place called Casto Canyon. Uh, it's a place that he's been checking out, but n none of us have seen it yet. So I am out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna drive in here. It's supposed to be like a cool off-roading place. And I'm gonna drive in here and check it out and get some eyes on it. So we uh, made it to the trailhead, Casto Canyon. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna find. Maybe we just drive in there and see what's what's down there. So, looking at all the uh, the pictures on this little display here, it looks like it resembles Bryce a lot, which is really cool. It's kind of what we're looking for. So, uh, yeah, let's let's drive in there and see what we got. Um, part of me thinks we went the wrong way. We're going away from all of the the orange rock hoodoo looking stuff. We found the right trail. Uh, this is gonna be tight. Hopefully I can manage this. Well, I didn't make it far. I can't, I can't go. It's, it's not for me. I'm not allowed. Unless we think the FJ can fit across this. Nah. Well, that was fun. We saw nothing. Well, I don't know. I guess we saw a couple cool things, but overall, kind of a waste of time. I guess we probably could have found that out ourselves just by researching it, but um, I don't know. It was cool to drive back there and see what's back there. So, But now, since I don't have anything to do, I'm going to run an errand in Cedar City, and then I'm just going to head down to Colab Terrace Road. I have all this time now to go kind of explore that area, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to run to Cedar City, and then I will see you when we get to Colab Terrace Road. Bye. All right, so we made it to Colab Terrace Road. Um, as you can see behind me, we have this really cool view of the west wall of Zion National Park. And I have hopes of getting a cool, a cool photo of the whole wall. I have seen some people do it. I'm not quite sure where they're shooting it from, but I'm hoping to figure that out today. So there's a road that's just off to my left here that goes down uh, kind of closer to the mountains down there. And we're going to take that and see what we can find. Um, I don't know if it'll be anything good, but I'm, I'm hoping it will be. So, it's a really cool place nonetheless. We definitely won't be struggling to find anything to shoot. It's just more of struggling to find exactly what I'm hoping to shoot. So, but realistically, like, anything would be good. This place is amazing. I love Zion National Park and can't go wrong. So we drove down this road, and guess what? 
There's a freaking fence. We're just not having great luck with fences today. Well, all right, well that ruins that plan. So I think what I'm gonna do now is just take coal up Terrace Road. Uh, it goes back up over the hill here and it kind of cuts in towards Zion. And I don't know, maybe that'll get us somewhere. So let's go see if there's a gate on that road. Because, I mean, I don't know, I guess third time's a charm, so. That was kind of a fun little trail. I mean, besides the fact that we couldn't get super far in it, but it's pretty, pretty muddy down there. It rained, I didn't mention that, but it rained like crazy, like just a few hours ago down here. Um, one of those classic, you know, Southwest monsoons rolled through here and um, it made things very messy for a little bit, but so yeah, now everything's really muddy, which is, I mean, it's fun for me, I like it, but it's not very fun to walk through, but drive through, it's fun. Okay, so we've been driving on Coal Up Terrace Road for a minute, and I kind of realized it's just, it's gonna go up into the Coal Up Wilderness, and which is way far away from Zion, and I don't really want to go up there, um, but before I totally turn around, there's a spot that I saw on the map called like, I don't know, Lava Lookout or something like Lava, something with lava and something with looking out. Anyways, so I found this little, oh, it's real muddy. Um, I found this, I found this little break off road that heads back into Zion National Park. Wow, we got real freaking muddy there. Um, and goes to this little lava lookout thing. So we're gonna go check that out. Maybe it'll be cool, maybe it will totally suck. I don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll go look at it. Um, I'm hoping that we can find something soon to, to shoot for sunset, because I, I, everything that I've wanted to shoot or have had the idea of shooting so far has turned out to be a dud. And so it's almost five o'clock. So we're kind of running out of time, but I don't know. Let's see what this place has to offer. It's just around the corner. So my drone turned on. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. I kind of want to go like, stand over there, but I don't know if I can. Now that's a view. All right. Well, so that spot was really cool. Um, and actually it, might make for a really good Milky Way location. Um, so I'm partially tempted to try that tonight. But anyways, cool lookout. Still not quite what I'm looking for. So I am gonna head back towards Zion and see if something grabs my attention. Cause there's a lot of beautiful stuff here, but there's, there's not much that's really catching my eye. That's, you know, as far as like photography goes. But that's the tricky part, right? Is, you know, just because something is really beautiful to look at doesn't make it easy to photograph bumpy so that's kind of the that's kind of my dilemma right now is trying to find something that's uh, that I can that I can photograph everything's beautiful but it's it's finding something to photograph that's that's tricky so but anyways we're gonna head back to Zion and see if something grabs our attention there Okay, so we made it to our spot. Um, this actually ended up being the exact spot that I was hoping to find. Um, we have this really cool view of the west wall of Zion, and I've been trying to find this spot for, I'm not even kidding, like a year and a half. And I just, I was driving on the road that goes up to Springville, or excuse me, Springdale, and I noticed this one little offshoot road and I was like, I kind of want to check that out. It ended up being the right road. We have the right spot with our, with our view. So I'm really excited about that. So, and also right as I was pulling up, this cloud structure moved right over the mountains, which means we're going to get a really killer sunset. And I'm so, so excited about that. We had a killer sunset last night at Bryce. We had a great sunrise at Bryce. We had a great sunrise the day before, or the morning before that. Oh my gosh, these bugs. I didn't think that our, we would keep having this kind of luck, but 
Uh, apparently it hasn't run out for this trip, so which is which is really nice. So my plan is to shoot sunset here, which should be here in the next 30 minutes or so. And then I'm actually gonna go into the park and get some Milky Way stuff with um, Watchmen. It's the main mountain that kind of, it's a really popular shot. And I'm gonna try to get some Milky Way photos of that. And then I probably will come back here to camp. I think that's kind of my intention. So I'm hoping I can kind of double dip too in the in the Milky Way stuff, so I can get some Southern Milky Way, so Southwest Milky Way, I guess, with Watchmen inside the park, and then I'll come back here, and then maybe I'll get Northeast Milky Way with uh, this wall of. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna ah, and then I'll get Northeast Milky Way with the. Uh, the west wall of Zion, which I think will be really cool. We'll see if it actually works out, but I'm really excited. I, I had, I was losing faith there for a minute, but things are starting to turn around. So I'm gonna get set up here and make sure I don't get eaten by these stupid bugs and then uh, we're gonna shoot. So I, I have a good feeling about this night. So it's gonna be good. One of my favorite things about landscape photography is that all the hard work happens before you ever even set foot on your scene. If you thoroughly pre-plan and scout out your spots, it makes it so that when you show up on location, you really just have to be there and wait for nature to do its thing. Which means that I can just sit back and relax and enjoy my peak refuel cookie dough bites. Speaking of peak refuel, this video may not be sponsored by them, but I highly recommend you go check them out anyways. They've got excellent backpacking meals and a few really tasty snack options as well. Like these cookie dough bites. So I knew all of my luck was going to run out eventually. Um, all those clouds that I was pumped about being above the, the mountains, they've all shifted to the north. So now it's back to being a uh, cloudless photo, but I don't know. It might be fine. So we'll get a little uh, type of alpine glow on these mountains once the sun gets down further. And which should happen. Uh, pretty soon actually so probably only another 10 15 minutes and then and then we'll be in business so it's just a matter of waiting and battling off bugs until that happens You know, I'll tell you, no picture that we take today can justify and really show how gosh dang pretty this is. Even with nothing in the sky, it's just so, so dang pretty. I'm really glad we came up here. Okay, well, I think that's it for, for shooting this. Um, it's funny, I am a little frustrated. I mean, just a little bit. I, I'm, I'm overall very happy with how uh, this all turned out tonight, but there are clouds over in this direction going bananas right now um it's just super vibrant and they could have been over here but nah they had to move but yeah overall i think this was this was really awesome so a couple uh a couple things to take away from from this uh location is i need to come with a tighter lens the tightest lens that i have right now on me is a 50 millimeter lens and part of me did that on purpose just to kind of limit myself and see what I can do with the ranges from 17 to 50, because I have a 17 to 35 and then a uh, 50 millimeter prime. But I wish that I had something tighter for this. So next time I come here, I'm bringing something tighter and I think we can get something really, really awesome if we have the right equipment. Not that this didn't turn out good or anything, not that I'm not happy with it, but I think we can get something that's 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 also really cool, just in another way. But I'm gonna throw some of the photos that I got from today up on the screen, so let me know what you think about those. And I'm gonna go into Zion Canyon right now and go get some Milky Way photos because the sun is going down fast. I mean, it's already down for right here, but it is rapidly going down, which means the Milky Way will be coming out just as fast. So 
I have about a 25-minute drive to get over to my spot, and then I got to hike to um, the the location that I want to shoot from. And we'll see how we'll see how those turn out. I think they'll be, I think they'll be good. I'm really excited. So we got perfect skies and perfect conditions for for Milky Way stuff. So I'll throw those at the end of this video as well, just so you can see see what I got. If if anything, if if not, then there won't be any Milky Way photos. But anyways, I'm gonna run. Go do that right now. But in the meantime. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe for more of this kind of stuff. We'd love to see you here interacting with, with what we're doing on here and and we appreciate any support that we could possibly get. It, it definitely helps us helps us out a lot. So it, it's, it's always very, very appreciated. Anyways, hope you all have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.